it's agony to dream like this and wake up to reality. Fergus Reed, one of the old guard. You're still breathing, you dummy bastard. Hey, you're tough as they come, you know. Jesus Christ. Hey, doggy! Catch! Private Wyatt, good kid. Uh, see you on the flip side, Captain. General Death's head is nearer to us now than he's been in years. We eliminate the general. We cut the head off the crude war machine. That's him, isn't it? That's Death's head! Help me make a choice. Is look to the one you would have me dissect? Thought I'd seen it all. But I've never seen true cruelty. Until now. Oh, did the same? I think I see someone. Her name is Anya. She takes good care of me. It's 1960. The USA, they surrendered 12 years ago when Nazi atom bombed their country. On a train to Berlin. Ich bin Obersturmbahnführer Engel. Sehr schöne arische Züge. The resistance fighters, where are they? BJ Blaskovic. Caroline, you're alive. If you call shitting in a bag living, they think the war is over. That we are weak. Don't have the guts to oppose them. But as always, they are wrong. Set. Roth, according to official records, has been detained and sent off to a forced labor camp. You said Roth. I'm not sure yet. What do you know of Set Roth? Your dash, you should. Source of the Nazi technology, I'm here to rescue you. I hope you'll find what you seek, my friend. My name is Bombate. William J. Blaskowitz. Be safe out there. No one leaves my camp! Max Huss! Mr. Max! Max doesn't like violence. He doesn't want to see anyone get hurt. Das Yichud is an ancient, mystical society. We invent things, the technology, the development. Das Yichud is centuries ahead of anything you've ever seen or imagined. Take us back to Berlin, Blaskovich. Since your old friend Frau Engel was leading the attack, Death said must have promoted her for her actions at the labor camp. You know what you have here, Captain? This is the Eva's Hammer, the crown jewel of the Nazi u boat fleet. Get inside the compound, fast as you can. Wipe Death's head off the face of the earth. Death's head? Should have killed that man long ago. Got you standing. <laughs> Captain, we are in position. The nuclear cannon is armed. Permission to fire? <sighs> You're clear. Your father won't be home tonight. Business over in Dallas. Oh, my boy. He hurt you so bad. Just rest and heal. I, I have soup and porridge. Which one would you like? Go on, Captain. Make a choice for me. So stubborn, Captain Blaskowitz. It's a good trait, mine. It's patience. I have an endless supply. I wonder which will prevail, your stubbornness or my patience. The task is simple, really. You need only look to the one you would have me choose. I await your selection. Anya, what is it? I see him. Caroline, this way. William. Oh, my stupid man. Did you think we would just leave you in here? Oh, Jesus, fuck, his bloody inners are coming out! Hold him in, put your hands there! Ah, that's not good. Get him in the helicopter! Uh, easy, easy. One, two! Oh, a blessing. <sighs> to have finished the work I was put on this earth to do. <sighs> Surrounded by friends that love me. You have no idea what it's like to suffer like I do. 
Combate, they are out. Fire! Yes, madam! Oh, I've got He's bleeding out! Go faster! Nexus! And the great warmth washing over me. Tao! I think the sky's on fire. Please don't die. Caroline, he's dying! Press. He's turning blue. Bombate, we'll need a gurney at the hangar bay. ETA 96. Death at the gates again. Howling my name. Come on in, old buddy. Sorry I made you wait. Let me show you something, Billy. My father told me if I ever had a son, I should give this to him. It is an engagement ring. It has been with our family for eight generations. <laughs> Can you imagine that, Billy? It is what they call an heirloom. When you meet someone special, you will place this ring on her finger. It is worth a lot, this ring. Shit. Must be a hundred damn degrees outside. Do not tell your father about this ring. He will take it. He does not know about it. You know how he is. Sophia! Mother, am I acquitted? Was I righteous and just? Good enough to witness the awe of heaven? You have no idea what it's like to suffer like I do. Oh, no. Mother, I'm going to hell. <laughs> Oh, Paul Bombate. Well, uh, I'll have to cut most of his intestines out. Whatever it takes, Ted, please. Stay with us, Blaskovich. You fight through this, and I promise you, I promise you everything will be all right. Kinderlach, bring me anyone for to give blood. Now! All right, listen up. You, you, and you fucking too. Round everyone up and line up over here by the street, mate. Fuck it on your box. Yeah, fuck it, yeah. First, war. I need light. Stay down, keep quiet. He's coming. Sophia, he in there? No. Sophia, out of my way. He does not deserve this. You know he does not. Don't bullshit me. I saw him with her. He's young. He likes her. He does not know better. He knows goddamn well not to spend time with some dirty little nigger girl. I will not let you hurt my son. Not anymore. You have no idea what it's like to suffer like I do. Oh, Sophia, every day I'm out there busting my ass, tooth and nail, getting screwed out of my earnings left and right, humiliating myself just to keep the business alive. I saw them two together, Sophia, getting sweet with each other under the poplar tree. This cannot happen! <laughs> I have worked too hard for too damn long to lose my reputation because my boy is sweet on some nigger. Like this. I cook. I clean. I tend to the stables, to the field. You are not the only one struggling, Rip. You should have shut down the business when my father told you to. We are behind in everything. Three months behind in utility. All the money my father invested, you have lost. You are playing with fire, Sophia. What are you doing? I am not the man you want to mouth off to. And you are not the man I married. I married a man who would never let his family go hungry. So help me. I will not, will not let you hurt my son. You shut your damn mouth. Pour shut it for you. <coughs> what is it with you damn Jews? Have all the answers, do you? Smart mouth, goddamn Jew. I married you, I figured your father would be an asset. But you just a damn millstone, sticking your nose into my business instead of handling your own. If you can't raise a boy right, I'll do it for you. Get away! <laughs> in the closet. Make me sick to look at you.
Get your ass over here! Now! Keep them coming, candy ass. Can't throw worth a shit. That all... You are so goddamn weak. They're gonna pick on you, they will break you, they will make you eat dirt. And what are you gonna do about it? You can't fight to save your life. Well, at least I can teach you how to take it. Slow your breathing, Blaskovich. Recover your strength. Big plans are in motion. The tides are turning. The Kreisau Circle is rising. I will need you by my side when we make our move. Can you feel the kicking? Bessie, dinner time. Yeah. Yeah, you good girl. Yes, Bessie, you such a good girl. You ain't going nowhere. Whimper all you want. In life, you got to make hard decisions. And sometimes, you got to punish the animals out there. It's kill or be killed. The old and the weak are doomed. All manners of scum and sickly minds and dirty bodies and cockroaches doing everything in their power to rob the white man of what he's earned. It's on us to straighten out the queer. It's on you. Finger on the trigger. That's right. Now, shoot her. Shoot her! You little runt of a boy. And stupid to boot in that brick head of yours. Shoot her! So feeble, just like your mother. Just remember, my boy. It will end better than it began. It's you. Take this. They're looking for you. Oh, shit! Here they come. This is our you boat now, Nazi. You ain't getting it back. Stop! Vaskovich! Freeze! Do not move a muscle until I say it's okay, all right? All right? Don't even cast wind. Microwaves will turn you into mush. You don't want to be mush. Shimsha, do you? Okay, wait. Wait. Okay, now, come to me. 
Be careful, the floor is very wet. Means the system is working. Come. Come. That's concentrated microwave emitters. Very nice contraption. Quick, 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 quick. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, 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 one, two, three. Our videos are a new piece of track. Now, Mr. Blaskovich, I'm very happy to see you awake. Not so happy Anya, to see you out of bed. Where is she? Last time I saw her, she was, uh, she was with Caroline defending the cell platform elevator. Then point me in that direction, sir. Ingrid. You know how long you've been in bed? Five months. Your body is broken. You understand? Your kidneys are failing. You, 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 you might have difficulties to, to, to urinate, to use your schmeckle, to do many no other things. No time for this. Just tell me. Uh, Frau Engel. Uh, she's been hunting for you. She's been moving heaven and earth. And today she found you. The Nazis breached the U-boat. Many wounded, many dead. I was separated from the others. I have to go. No. No, Hackman is them I told you no. Said, help me find the... Sail platform elevator. You are such an auction. You are such an auction. Okay. Now, there are many Nazis between here and the sail platform elevator, but I set several traps. I didn't have the time to activate them, but look at this. This is a map for to show you where the traps are. Uh, put them to good use from the Fakakte Fascist. Okay. Okay, be careful. <laughs> Try not to get killed, if you don't mind. Off you go. I'm fine with any cough. Get off my head! William, are you all right? William, I prayed for you to wake up. I'm a burn. Don't be stupid. Okay. Let's get you up. You gotten so fat. Set <laughs> says we're having twins. Not now, Kinderlach. If we survive, you'll have enough time for Schmuserei. Now, let's get you outside. Onto the deck. Onto the deck. Oh, hold on, William. Escape, Max! Escape! Shoot! Shoot! Ah! You shoot good, Max! Smile! <laughs> Junge mit einer Waffe. Loslassen! Loslassen! Sigrun, warum atmest du so schwer? Ich weiß nicht, Mutter. Ah, das weißt du nicht? <lacht> Dieter, abführen zum Feuer! Ja, Mutter. Du hast die vereinbarten Leibesübungen nicht gemacht und deine Weg nicht eingehalten. Vergib mir, Mutter. Ich habe gestern ein kleines Stück Kuchen gegessen, nur ein ganz kleines... Du dumme Kuh! Du bist eine Schande für deine Rasse und für deine Familie! Das werden die Leute sagen, wenn du in eine Klinik für Fettsüchtige kommst. Eine Generalstochter! Was für eine Schande! Los, warte ja halten! Du bist nicht mal eine Backfatte wert! Er ist da oben. Da bin ich mir sicher. Abwasch nach drinnen! Ja, Mutter. Los, rein, Männer. Ich lock ihn raus. Megafon. 
People. She trapped our vessel, Anishka. What can we do? You right in. We'll have to somehow release our U-boat once you're up there. I can't lose you. You're weak, William. You're in no shape to fight. I'll find a way. Lisa! You going to run us over with your little wheelchair? Somehow she tracked us down. I fucked everything up. You think your hero, William Joseph Blaskovich? Sie den auf den Krüppel. Let me tell you, you're not. Only the degenerate rats of the slum admire you. The filthy dregs, festering in the ghetto. But once they see you, this will change. <laughs> I shall put you on international television. Look, everybody. <laughs> is, this, is this how a hero looks like? <laughs> a crippled wretch of a man being in a tomb. <laughs> Everyone will see what a useless joke you are. Los las. Oh. Ah, danke schön. Oh, sie sind am Kram. Bow your head. Don't be silly. The resistance does not bow. Mutter! Sigun! Sei still! Ich arbeite! Ich dachte, du würdest sie freilassen. Aber das tue ich doch. Ich befreie ihren Kopf von ihren Schultern. Aber du hast gesagt, dass Aber du sie... Du hast gesagt! Du machst deine Leibesübung und du verzichtest auf den Zucker. Und was haben meine Männer in deinem Zimmer gefunden, als sie es durchsucht haben? Schokolade, Kekse, Limonade, Bonbons. Ganz abzusehen von den kranken Sachen, die du in dein Tagebuch geschrieben hast. Du willst sie befreien? Gut. Nimm. Nimm! Mach schon. Befrei ihren Kopf von ihren Schultern. Du hast mein Tagebuch gelesen. Leg dich ab! Köpfe sie! Oder du kannst dich auf was gefasst machen. Los! Los, los! Los, 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 los! Don't do it, girl! Sag zu! Ich kann nicht, Mutter. Mach schon! Nein! Ich kann das nicht! Ein Tagebuch. Mit Perversion. Und verräterischen Worten vollschmieren. Das kannst du! Einige davon waren sogar auf Englisch! Seite für Seite ergießt sich dein widerwärtiger Geist! Wenn du aufgehst wie eine 
dicke, fette Seekuh! Verstehst du nicht, in was für eine Lage du mich bringst? Ich bin verpflichtet, das zu melden. Du hattest kein Recht, es zu lesen. Caroline Becker, Leader of the Chryso Circle. The criminal mastermind. Never give up, Lasko Rage. Never give in to these people. I think not. I think... You're just another... Jesus Christ, fuck me. Überwacht den Meister. Look at this. How strange. One moment she was here, and now she's gone. Were these eyes ever filled with a lover's gaze? Do you think? Kiss, kiss, kiss. Hmm? Das ist nicht komisch. Willst du auch ein Küsschen, wie du es in deinem Tagebuch geschrieben hast, auf deine dicken, fetten Wangen? Oder vielleicht lieber hier unten, ha? Zwing mich nicht, zwischen dir und meiner Überzeugung zu wählen. Denn du wirst verlieren. Bringt ihn her! Also an old friend of yours? I'll kill you! Mutter, oh. bitte hör auf, es reicht! Aus dem Weg! Ja. Nein! Ah. Mister! Vasco, ah. ah. shit up! Seglin, let him escape pod! Let's go, we have to get the fuck out of here, no! Hold up.
Oh, that's smart! Like, stop fidgeting. You want something for the pain? No, no, no. Just, just get on with it, man. <laughs> now listen up. Caroline had a plan. Yes. The liberation of the United States of America. Uh, Caroline wanted to free the U.S. and use it as a stepping stone to liberate the rest of the world. Come fuck her, high water. This is what we're gonna do for Caroline. Oh, for God's sake, Max, stop helping. Why is there a Nazi on the boat? Uh, because if it wasn't for this Nazi traitor, we'd all be dead by now. Uh, we owe her, so we can't kill her. Unless she fucks us over. You gonna fuck us over? No, mister. And I'm not a Nazi. Not anymore. All right. Now, Caroline had established radio contact with an American resistance cell in New York City. Uh, the only way we move forward... Uh, Caroline's plan is to build alliances with U.S. resistance groups and mobilize the people for the revolt. Death charges! Oh, uh, what in the name of Satan's bloody ass is happening? I hear surface breaches. Multiple surface breaches. Yeah, it's through fucking angle. Will someone care to tell me how the fuck she found us? <clears throat> well, speak up. Someone inside your U-boat is transmitting your position. That is bloody marvelous. The Ausmerzer has been receiving messages from someone inside your boat. That's how we found you. Fucking who? Section F. Fucking what? There it is, Section F. <gasps> but there is no Section F. The maps are not accurate. We've looked and there is no door there. But if there is, but if someone is hiding in the transmitting that signal, you want to investigate. I'm gonna have to go have a lay down. Kindle, come. <clears throat> Must be here. Move this locker. <laughs> Astonishing. Weld it shut from the other side. Here you go there. Hey, look at me. Use this. Fergus came to me with some thoughts for improvement. I think it would at the level. Thanks. I miss the old girl. I will open this when you are done, big man. Nazi radio room ahead. We gotta find a way in. Thank you, William. The Ausmerzer is losing track of us now. Find your way back to the locker room. Bombate will let you out of there. Well done, Blaskowitz. Come. Everyone is gathered. you need, but at some point, can you please go see Sid at his workshop so he can check up on you? I worry about your health. And I better eat something before I pass out. Oh, no, 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 no! What the hell is that thing? 
This is not a thing, Shimshon. This is not a thing. This is this is the body of a squirrel monkey and the head of my beloved Siamese kid. Shoshana, look at this. She's not gonna do anything to you. He's a good man. You see, I, I found Shoshana hunting for rats in the reactor room when we captured the U-boat. A few months later, she was dying of bowel cancer when, when I stumbled upon this practically brain-dead monkey chewing on a blasting cap. And please do me a favor, Mr. Blaskovich, lower your ex. You're making me nervous. This is not only my, my favorite animal. This is most probably my, my most significant scientific achievement. Yes, you are significant. You, you're hungry? Here's a fish cake. You see, <clears throat> in order to do a cross-species head transplant, you need to A, bridge the spinal column. She's OK. B, harmonize otherwise totally recalcitrant biological system, respiratory and circuitry. OK, then, I get it. Spare me the science mumbo jumbo. What am I doing? I'm like an old kachke. You had such a long day, and I'm, I'm sorry. Let's see. You want something for the sleep, Ingle? No. No, I just need to keep busy. Distractions, huh? No, I understand. I understand. We all grieve in different ways. But I have a perfect distraction for you, Ingle. Look, a few days ago, Anya asked me to make a shooting range for the fighters on board. It's almost finished, but I was experimenting with an old German uh, drone for target practice when suddenly this fakakta machine went Adolf Hitler on me, started running Michigane in there. So I had to lock it inside. Do you mind going in there and destroying the drone? And, uh, feel free to, to try my shooting range. Tell me how you like it. No, just, just come back, give me your thoughts when you're done. Okay, Ingle? Okay, I'll have a look. I appreciate it. Thank you. Chase you, ain't you? <sighs> Seth's got to be more careful with his experiments. You're back, Shimshin. How was my shooting range? Ah, uh, well done, Yingle. You fresh apple, you. Herr Blaskovich, your lady Anya. She was here looking for you? Oh, 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 yes. Anya found Caroline's notes about the American resistance cell in New York City. Look for her in Caroline's room. Oh, William. I can still smell her in here. I found Caroline's notes on the American resistance cell in New York City. I know their exact location. Can you look for Fergus for me? He's been back on his feet again after the surgery, and I asked him to bring me some nitroglycerin from the ammo depot, but he hasn't returned. Go to the ammo depot next to the shooting range and find him. We have to gather everyone and get ready for our next move. We've almost arrived in New York City. How am I going to tell her I'll be joining you, Caroline? Make her watch as I fade away. Maybe she already knows. Keeps pretending like me. You all right, Fergus? How's the arm? Please, please help me. What happened to your face? I think she's trying to kill me, Blasco. Last what? Have you ever drifted off peacefully to sleep? Only to be brutally awoken by your own prosthetic arm, savagely gobbing you in the eye. I had to turn it off. Is that normal? What's that say? Uh, something about there being a, a learning curve and whatnot. How I needed to learn how to trust it. I don't know. I'll tell you, I don't think I'll be using it to take a piss anytime soon. Maybe it's like training a game dog to show weakness in little pals. What you gotta do is show that thing who's in charge. Right. Well, you just uh, stand there and be ready to step in in case it uh, looks like I'm about to die. All right. There we go. That's a good girl. You're a good girl. Oh, fuck! 
Fuck you, that shameful face! Oh, you... Stop it! For the love of... Oh, no, you gotcha. All right, everything's fine. Calm down. There's a good girl. There's a good girl. You, uh... High and tight there, Commander. Oh. Yeah. Everything's under control. Uh, right this way. Okay. Helmet five. I have reviewed Caroline's notes. The New York City Resistance Group is concealed at the top of the state building. Uh, said I assume the high altitude means the radiation is at tolerable levels? Definitely. <laughs> right. However, we can simply fly in there in our Nazi helicopters because we're gonna be shot down. Can't we re-establish contact then and let them know our helicopters are friendly? I've looked, but I couldn't find any means of contacting them in Caroline's notes. Bloody hell. Well, I will need to approach from ground level then. Introduce ourselves properly, face to face. On ground level. The whole city is saturated by fallout from the Nazi atom bomb. Lethal levels of radiation if we go there without protective wear. Yeah, yeah, well, this one... Well, this armor will shield from all radioactivity. You do it then, Blasco. Have you grown too weak and useless now? Always wanted to see the Big Apple. Lovely. Bombate, drop him off now, eh? No problem, Wing Commander. Can I be of use? What do we know, lass? Can you? Five degrees pot, on sand continue, straight forward. You got it, Blondie. Hey, big friend. You better watch out for the crocodiles. Crocodiles. He's not New York underground crawling with crocodiles. Oh no, I'm from Texas. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Like my guts are falling out. Dead man walking. Just who the fuck are you, white boy? Stay calm. Let me first make it absolutely clear that I am not a Nazi. What are you say? You say you're a Nazi? No, 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 I am not a Nazi. I'm not a Nazi, okay? Well, you ain't a white-ass fascist Nazi pig. Then you either colored or you're a deviant. Now, you sure as hell ain't colored, so you're trying to pass as a deviant? You look like a deviant to you, Sister Grace? Nope. Hang on, hang on. I may not be a deviant. God, I told you he's a goddamn Nazi! Oh, fuck this. Motherfucker! <laughs> Let me say this again. I ain't no goddamn... Nazi. Hey! <laughs> now you bring Super Special back in and you put him down right now, or I will shove this grenade so far up your ass, I'll be dancing and rejoicing as your entrails trickle down from the ceiling. You dig, man? Lady, <laughs> I got precious little time for your bullshit. We've been trying to make contact with your group. We're organizing for a revolution in America. We? The Chrysal Circle. Especially escort this motherfucker inside the house and get him a hot meal. Let me put this pen back in. Shit! Take cover! <laughs> Relax, man. He's just a duck. Oh, you bitch got a sick sense of humor. Oh, dude, you're crushing me. Oh. oh. 
Chili, okay? It's my papa's recipe. Ain't got no spoon, though. Oh, thanks. So what's, uh, with the chicken fats? Chicken <laughs> That's That's my Faraday cage, man. You, you dig? It, it keeps the, the Nazi alien conspiracy from finding us. Oh. I almost got killed by William goddamn Blaskowitz. Yeah. Do you mind? You were here when the bomb hit. Yeah, I was. I survived relatively unscathed because I was on the ground at the time when I came up. Looked like a vision out of Dante's Inferno, you know what I'm saying? I remember the main people just wandering through the smoke. I remember. Screams echoing through the bombed out buildings like howling ghosts. And I remember this mother and son. This boy was blindly stumbling through the chaos. His arms were outstretched, calling out for his mama. And the heat from the bomb had melted the skin on his arms and they just drooped. Like he was wearing a shirt that was a couple of sizes too big. And I remember his mama. She was crawling to get to him. And the half of her body was all gone. It was just gone. What are you thinking in a moment like that? When you know you're losing everything you love. What are you thinking in a moment like that, huh? Damn. Shit. That's gonna leave a mark. Monsters did this. Not monsters. Men. Look, I'm sorry for your loss, Mr. Blaskowitz. For a little I spoke with Caroline, she seemed like a hell of a woman. She had balls of steel. Balls. And why is it that balls are always used as some fucking default definition of badassery? Small, little, delicate things. Resting all snug and warm and cozy and comfortable in their little wrinkly wrapper of fucking skin. Shit. <laughs> that is a mystery. <laughs> What's not a mystery is the sweet juice they produce. Yeah, I, I, got, I got a couple of my own on the way. Cute little guy. It's a girl. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what are you sorry for? What's up, special? There's pigs, lots of them coming up the stairs. They're gonna fucking army. Shh, the fuckers found us. Well, you got an escape strategy, Mr. Blaskowitz? Anya. We're gonna need immediate evac. Understood, William. Dispatching has one and has two for immediate extraction. Copy. Move your people to the roof. I'll stall the Nazis until our ride's here. Brothers and sisters, listen up! I need everybody to get up to the roof now. We're evacuating. And bring all the equipment you can carry. Come on, let's hustle, people! Come on, come on. Get your shit. You cool? Just make sure your people make it out. Come and fucking get me, you white-ass fascist Nazi pigs!
Zeta. You're a little Zeta, Abby. Yes, you are. You're such a little gray. You're such a little gray. We gotta set this right, Grace. Put the fighting spirit back in the American people. Ignite a revolution. Shit. We've been fighting every motherfucking day, Blazkowicz. White America, though? They done packed up and given in. See, I guess they don't have the fighting spirit no more. Nah, they just do whatever the fucking Fuhrer tells them to do. That's baloney. They want to fight the Nazis just as much as we do. All they need is for someone to show them how. You know who's running the South after the Nazis took over? The Ku Klux motherfucking Klan, am I right? That's it. So what you gonna do? You gonna go down there and hold hands with them and build bridges and persuade them to join our cause? Get your head out your ass, Blazkowicz. Well, forget about the turncoats. Focus on the grassroots. I got... I'm running on empty. Don't know how much time I got. Can't even stand up on my own accord no more. I've seen worse. Maybe you're right. Maybe the American people grew comfortable living under tyranny. Maybe the Nazis will still be running the show after I kick the bucket. Sister Grace always right, brother. I learned that the hard way. I don't know. But I know this. You take freedom away from the American people, you're playing with fire. And I intend to pour some gasoline. People gotta know they don't have to take this shit no more. And if nothing else, that's what I'm gonna do before I go. See, that's what I'm talking about, Blaskowitz. You wanna strike fear in the Nazis? You wanna hit them hard for all to see? You wanna cause some real motherfucking havoc? Well, then you come to the right woman. So if you still got some Nazi fighting, killing skills up in you, then guess what? I got a plan that's gonna send shockwaves throughout the nation. Oh, shit. Is this the one where I go home to Roswell? Show you right. <laughs> What do you think about this, Mendelik? I think I got you now, my little goylem. Thanks, Hoss. I don't know, Maxilla. So this is where all the decisions are made. Huh. We're gonna need a room to sleep nearby. This one looks empty. Super Spash! Hey, Englishman. I'm gonna need a new home for my people. Power outlets, radio room access, and a can. You got it? Please. Say what? Please, you ask for something, you say please, and don't fucking call me English, man. Okay, you want to step to me, motherfucker, you want to get shit done. Because I'm gay either way. Don't, don't mind that. Absolutely no control over the thing. Happy to oblige. What's up, boss? We bunking in here. Oh, you got it, sister. All right. Listen up, brothers and sisters. The, uh, touchy Englishman is going to show you where to set up shop. After that, I want you to look around. Find a place to bunk and get to know the boat folk. And hey, don't start no shit. But don't take none either. Oh, can I? Well, uh, what the kind lady said. Follow me. You got nukes on this boat? Yes, we do. There's a stockpile of nuclear warheads downstairs in Section F. We need to get our hands on one of those. But we've sealed off the entrance to Section F because it's been flooded since the attack. Blaskowitz, you know how to swim? Yep. Baby, this isn't bad. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I, I said, what the fuck is this, man? Is this a working toilet I see before me, handled toward my hand? Yes. Yes, this toilet can handle all sorts of waste, you know, feces, urine. Vomitus, you name it. Do you have ass wipe? And by that you mean toilet paper, yes. Yes, of course we need to mind our rations a little bit, but uh, oh. there's ass wipe and... Oh, uh, God, oh my God, yes. oh my sweet God in heaven. A working mother flushing toilet. I never thought I'd see the day. It's just, um, okay, okay. I'm just gonna be in here for a minute. Good luck. <sighs> Grace, you read? Going fishing for that nuclear warhead now. Got it. Keep me posted. Your suit, the damp heat, the maddening itch. How did you endure it so gracefully? 
It's fitted so tight I struggle to breathe. Yet inside, Caroline, you left the vacuum too great to fill. But your suit and the cause is all that keeps me upright. And Anya, her voice, her glory, it buckles me. And if you still copy, this is the conclusion I've reached. Whatever happens, she can't know she'll be rearing our babies alone. It's my burden to bear until it's hers. So here's what I'll do. Keep away from her. Let nothing show, Caroline. This dying is making me a liar. to the old man. Set, was it? I briefed him on the particulars. Careful, Trimshin, it's not the Tots cam. It, you, you okay? Well, let me look at you. You're a little pale. You nausea? Any uh, fever? I'm fine. Never better. Never better. Well, I need to take care of this. You need to rest. I'll sleep when I'm dead. I'll do me a favor. Before you die, go to Grace. She's at the helm. You know, Caroline's old room. William? What? I feel like you've been avoiding me. What's wrong? Talk to me. Look at me, Anya. I'm the damn tin man. How am I gonna get close to you? I don't care. We'll figure something out. We always do. Huh? Hey, why, why won't you at least try? Because I'm fucking dying. And the longer we keep pretending it won't happen, the harder it's gonna be. I'll be in the ground a week from now. You don't know that! What, you can see the future now? Don't act like you know things you can't possibly know. Well, the toilet works. Smashy, are you still here? You need to haul ass back to mission control and get all your ducks in a row. Mm -hmm. Now, the Haas 2 helicopter is spinning up in the hangar, and it'll get you as far as Galveston, but from there, baby, you're gonna have to improvise. Dynamite, boss. Blazkowicz, head on up to the hangar and make sure that Haas won his mission ready, all right? Not being there for you. Not rearing up our kids. That's too much to bear. And don't give up, William. Because I will never, ever give up on you, no matter what. Come with me to the showers. Hmm? We'll take this thing off. I'll clean you up. You smell. I'll take it off. I'm afraid I'll fall apart. Pieces won't fit back together again. I just got to keep going. For as long as I can. Well, Caroline, I fucked up and told her. Turns out, the hurt I tried to spare was mine, not hers. All set. Helicopter's good to go. Thanks, man. I think it's time we had a gathering. Uh, Max! What have you done? This is no good! What's going on? Oh, shit. Here he comes. What are you sure you're not looking up? For uh, Christ's sake! Why wasn't anyone watching it? Uh, Fergus, everyone is busy. No time for babysitting. Well, lock him up with a pig, then. What's the problem? Max, <laughs> oh, 
favorite shirt. Fuck, Max! <laughs> Fergus, it's only a shirt. No, it's not just a fucking shirt. I got this shirt at Kinloss. It's the only one I have. All right, y'all. Drop whatever the fuck you're doing. Because we got some hell to raise. Hey, Englishman. You got nukes on this ship, did you know that? Oh, is that why it only took one of them to level Death's Head's entire fucking compound? How'd you figure that out, oh great genius? Oh, so you knew, yet you only used the one. Explain that blip to me, shit for brains, because you are stupid for real. Oh, fuck's sakes, you can't bloody well just go around dropping bombs on random civilians, you dim-witted bambot. Oh, eat me, cocksucker. I'm not saying we chunk nukes at a bunch of cities all willy-nilly, pencil dick. Do I look like a fucking Nazi to you? No, 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 no. I would say you most resemble a skitter drukit cunt rag, emitting a heinous honking similar to that of a shite spoon volcano, affronting the senses at full force. Well, at least my face isn't a dead ringer for a massive prolapsed rectum. I want to blow a gut just looking at your bleary eyed jive ass. You know what I'm saying? The reason. We haven't used one of the other atom bombs, which would be obvious to anyone who isn't profoundly idiotic as we need a proper target first. Well, I'm here to say that I got a proper target. And it's a fucking good one, too. So sit your clown ass down, you dumb fuck Scottish motherfucker. Fair enough. Check it out. I sent Special Head to his hometown of Roswell, New Mexico to prep for the mission. Now, there's a tunnel that's accessible through Special's hideout that will take you straight into the Nazis' top secret underground base where they're experimenting with some sort of wigged out alien technology. Roswell, New Mexico, you said? This is one of ours. What do you mean? One of yours? Yeah, wouldn't you like to know? So you can send coded messages back to your pals in Berlin? No. What the fuck is she even doing here? Grace, why? She's good people. She's a fucking Nazi. On your boat. What were you saying, Pops? Hmm? Mm. That secret base you were talking about was constructed by us. The Asir, one of our biggest safe keeps. It was located here, underground, near what is now Roswell, New Mexico, but it, I mean, it existed for a thousand years, long before America got subjugated by the Europeans. It contained technology related to anti-gravity research, something that could easily turn the tide of war. We gave the U.S. government access to it. Unfortunately, it was too late. America fell. The Nazis took hold of our safekeeping. Shit, that's not gonna sit well with Speci. He had his bet on space aliens. He once saw a ship that crashed back there in 47. So what do you want with this place? Know what the Oberkommando is? Hey, That's where the top brass clock tails of the Nazi war machine reside. Yeah, well, the Nazis moved it into your safe keep set. So whatever it is is so important that the whole upper echelon of the Nazi leadership left Berlin and set up shop in New Mexico. And this is why you need this for? What on earth is that? This is a portable nuclear bomb. We're gonna take out the Oberkommando, cripple the Nazi leadership, and destabilize the fucking country and let the people know that the fight is back on. Blazkowicz, load up. I'm sending you to Roswell with this. Roswell is out of helicopter range, so we'll drop you off by the coast near Galveston. From there, you will catch a ride to Roswell. Rendezvous with Super Special at Papa Joe's All-American Diner and plant the nuke inside the very heart of the Ober Commando. Then, you blow that shit the fuck up. Look at you people. Celebrating your own destruction. Just listen to that lovely marching beat. I'm so happy you Germans brought some culture to this country. Kamerdat Ne... Neidner? Did I pronounce that right? You really must correct me if I didn't. Oh, just a, a bit more practice, Frau Edda. You were 
passed the test on changeover day with his hands. I just couldn't stand all that primitive jungle music. Chad, rock and roll. Sie können hier nicht durch wegen der Parade. Tut mir leid, Sie müssen woanders in Plan gehen. Na los. Gut, Fräulein. Sie können hier nicht durch, solange die Parade noch läuft. Verstanden? We haven't decided on a date yet, but soon. You're invited, of course, Auntie. Oh, that's nice, dear. Give my regards to your father when you return to the farm. Oh, and tell him I'm putting some hardworking slaves up for auction this week if he's interested. There'll be cocktails. I'll tell him, Auntie. Bye bye now. <laughs> bye bye, dear. Was hast du heute gelernt, Peter? I don't know. Stuff. Practice your German, dear. You will need it. Was denn für Sachen? Das der Führer ist ein großer Autor und Maler. <laughs> Sehr gut, mein Junger. Bobby told me that the Führer painted the Mona Lisa, and that he made the atom bomb. And then he put my head in the toilet and flushed it. That's awful. Someone should teach young Bobby some manners. You can bet you're behind his mother won't do it. I want you to promise me you'll stay away from him. Are you listening to me, Peter? Now, pick something from the menu. <sighs> Wish the secret police hadn't taken away the help. When will he ever get home-cooked meals again? Mom, can I have the chili? <laughs> sure can. Yes! If we ever get service in this godforsaken place, Hold your horses. Oh, hello there, sir. Please, have a seat at the counter. I'll be right with you. Ma'am, what'll it be? I want the chili. What about the clothes, unfortunately? Oh, it's to go. We'll be quick. Let's see. Uh, I'll have the... Blazkowicz, Speshy knows you're coming to attack the Oberkommando, but he has no idea you bring in a damn atom bomb. You gotta break him the news. Go on, sir. Please, take a seat. I'll be right with you. Hello? Hello? Come on, Peter. Let's go someplace else. But, Mom, we no have any butts. Oh! Bitte schön. Danke. Well, good day, ma'am. You, one strawberry milkshake, please. Oh, I hope you don't have a fire back there to put out. If so, I'll come back another time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the fire can wait, Commandant. One strawberry milkshake coming right up. Fireman, I recognize your face. Very Aryan face, it is, too. Are you out of Station One? There you go, Commandant. Oh, vielen Dank. Hmm. <laughs> Now you, show me your identification papers, please. Mm. I love strawberry milkshake. It's perhaps my favorite American thing. So simple, just milk and ice cream. The rest of the menu, however, I think you will need to address. I think it needs to be more German. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, are you from here, John Smith? Huh? I read here that you operate out of Station Six. What is the location of Station Six? I'm, I'm unfamiliar with this station. Speak up. Das nicht Zeit? Trink gerade noch meine Erdbeermilch. Leider nicht, Kommandant. Das Oberkommando verlangt, sie umgehend zu sehen. In Ordnung, ich, ich komme schon. Mm. 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 Mein Gott. 
Was bist du? Was bist du? Blasquish, shut the fucking front door! Not that I don't trust you, Blasquitz, but there's nothing saying you couldn't be wearing a mask made to look like William J. Blasquitz to hide your alien space lizard facial traits. So, I mean the password that Grace gave you. She didn't give me one. Right. Off with the mask. Show me your lizard face, motherfucker. Super special. Lower your weapon before I break your arm and put your lights out. I knew it was you, Terror Billy. I was just fucking with you. Come, follow me. So, um, welcome to Mission Control. It's, I haven't had much of a chance to clean up around here. I'm, I'm sorry about that. It's, um, good stuff, this shit right here. It keeps the signals from getting through. Very effective against alien mind-reading devices. How's Grace? Good. Big Abby? Fine as cream gravy. Christ, I miss her. Even the pissing in the face part, you know? I mean, maybe, maybe I miss that the most. <laughs> Little fucker. <laughs> so what have you been doing down here, Super Special? This place? My papa and me used this place to collect all the evidence we could find of the government cover-up. Cookie? Oh. It's been, been more than a decade now. Uh, summer of 47. I was the same year I quit working as a lawyer. In the year I joined the Black Revolutionary Front, after I got Grace acquitted from that murder charge that the goddamn FBI pigs uh, trumped up against her. Anyway, one night, Papa heard something on the police frequency, and he brought me up north to Murphy's Ranch, where we found this flying saucer-like thing that crashed into the ground. And wouldn't you know it, the U.S. motherfucking military swooped in and quarantined off the entire purview, gave us some kind of bullshit story about a weather balloon. <laughs> they were lying out of their asses, because we made off with some actual hard evidence. Here, take a look at this. Ah. Pulled that baby right out of the crash site. Now, does that look like something that came off a weather balloon? This place is where we kept the records and started surveilling what the military is up to. Papa built most of it. So you reckon what you saw was a spaceship? I'm, I'm not saying it's a flying saucer from outer space, but it was clearly extraterrestrial in origin, if you catch my drift. It's all fucking connected, man. If you trace the chain of causation, you find yourself in a secret underground facility about 10 clicks east of Roswell, up by Bottomless Lakes, Area 52. Our government captured an alien flying saucer, and they stored the salvaged bodies and technology in an underground vault. Everyone was involved. The FBI pigs, the military pigs, even the goddamn King President Pig himself. Check this shit out. Huh? Area 52, Area 51, over here, Area 48, Area 56, all over the Southwest, Nevada, New Mexico. It's one gigantic complex, and it's connected by underground train tunnels. <laughs> look, look, look at the pictures. Plasma guns, mind control, anti-gravity engines. And after our coward-ass government surrendered to the fucking Nazi pigs. Our new masters took over all these bases and they kept doing their own experiments to, to further their own fascist agenda. Look at this. This whole thing is the Area 52 military compound. Up here, it's the, the Nazi head honchos installed the fucking Oberkommando. But down here below, it's a cavernous vault full of all kinds of weird-ass technology, alien shit. It's, it's all down there. Now, I haven't seen it myself, but it's there. Well, whatever it is, it, 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 it ain't Martians. No, okay, all right, all right, all right. We, nobody knows for sure exactly what kind of technology we're dealing with, but it's most likely space alien based. It ain't space aliens. I talked. How the fuck do you know? Are you, are, you, are you some kind of expert on all things extraterrestrial now? Look, I've been a lawyer a long fucking time, and I know a motherfucking conspiracy when I see one. No, okay, I'm not saying it's space aliens, right? But it goes without saying it's fucking space aliens. So, I got a nuke in this here fire extinguisher. Okay. Cool it. I did not mean to rile you. 
Grace told me that you know a way into the Oberkommando. You get me in there, I will use this nuke to blow the top brass of the Nazi leadership to smithereens. Yes! Yes, of course! That sounds so good. I'm here to help. Papa dug these tunnels to the underground train system that connects all the top secret military bases. This tunnel goes right to Area 52 cargo train loading depot. All right. Now, you should put that nuke in uh, this backpack to keep your hands free for shooting. All right. Lots of Nazis down there. And other things. Now, I'll keep in touch on the radio. Help you out. Hey. Stay frosty, Blaskowitz. Super special. I am arming the warhead now. You may want to bug out of Roswell before this thing goes boom. Far out, brother, far out. I have my guy at City Hall sound the tornado alarm, evacuate the whole town. Now look for an exit and get the hell out of the blast zone. I'm almost done clearing out mission control. Meet you at the rendezvous by Galveston. Done deal. Yeah. Keep running, Nazis. Where are you all going? Too, but my daddy says I'm not supposed to play with you. Well, why he say that? My daddy said that Negroes are a sickness on the community and a bad influence, dirty and thieves, and beggars and bums, and they don't know how to read or write, and that they're stinky and stupid and lazy and way too lazy to work an honest job. Well, my daddy did, but my mama say white folks is mean as all get out and hating and resenting on account they used to keep all colored to slaves and now they're not allowed no more. And that's why I can't use a good restroom at the fair and the man in the store won't let me in so I can buy chewing gum or soda pop. Well, what kind of chewing gum you like? Engine scouts. Red or yellow? Yellow. I hate the red ones. The red ones taste like puke. <laughs> yeah. What you got in that jar, Billy? Oh, it's nothing at all. It's for catching tadpoles. What you gonna do with tadpoles in that jar? Just go watch them swim. I feed them crumbs and carrots from the yard. Then they become pinky frogs. Well, I've seen tadpoles down the stream. Follow me and I'll show you. Oh, uh, okay. 
Show me the ring, Mama. For when I met someone special. Well, I did. And then a look right on her finger. Come on! Look at this, Billy! Look at the rat fell in the mop bucket, now he can't get out! Look at that! <laughs> he drowned! Probably. Well, save him, Billy! He's drowning! It's just a rat. He's gross. He's eating our food and spreading germs, pooping in our cupboards. He's dying! He's dying, Billy! This life is a hardship, Billy. It is long, and it is paved with heartbreak. You will be old before you reach Rod's end. Just remember, my boy. It will end better than it began. Tell you a secret. Okay. Promise not to tell anyone. Yeah, okay. I whisper it. there somewhere, Billy, inclined to this day to endure amongst the living. Mama! Daddy! What's the goddamn ruckus? <laughs> and in Howie, they followed me. They, they pinned me down. They took my pocket knife. What the hell is wrong with you? You let them take your property, they're gonna walk all over you till there's nothing left. Now, I gave you that pocket knife. It was in your care. It's your responsibility. I will speak to their parents. You will do no such thing, Sophia. Oh, you're going to let your mommy fight your battles for you, are you, boy? Now, you go on out there and take back what's yours, and you are not setting foot in this house again until you do. <laughs> Hey. 
Son, I have tried reasoning with you. I've tried smacking sense into you till the cows come home and nothing is working. Every night you wake me up with these noises. No matter how many times I try to tell you there are no monsters in our basement. I'm sorry, Daddy. At night, I see them. Clear as daylight. I'm coming to kill Mama. All right. Here's what we're going to do. You take this. Wow. Now you and I are going down into the basement, and any monsters that show up, we shoot them dead right between their eyes. Sometimes the best way to fix a problem is to face it head on. You with me? Yes, Daddy. Sophia, you in on this? You see them? No, Daddy. The monsters are gone. Well, I reckon if you do no wrong, ain't no monster gonna come after you, son. You think we scared them off for good this time? May I keep the gun? Place is gone to shit. I ain't been down here in nary a decade. I own a 2,000 acre ranch up by Pony Lake now. I heard on the radio you'd been sighted up near Roswell. I figured you might show up here. I'm in this house with bad memories. So why'd you come? need a place to hide? You need money? Well, you're barking up the wrong tree, son. Far too late to come begging now. Ain't nothing you can offer to make up for what you've done to us. I think of my father, I see a fuck you and a fist flying in my face. When'd you ever do right by me? Disobedient, ungrateful, sense like a flat tire, and a mouth like a sewer. Oh, I saw where you was headed. I've been down that hole myself. And I guarantee goddamn to you, I did all in my might to pull you out. What more do you want from me? I wanted you to treat me like I matter. Like I wasn't some piece of dog shit got stuck on your shoe. I did my damnedest with you. The truth is, you were broke beyond fixing. What, are you some sort of super killer terror bomber now? You're on the wrong side, buddy. All them years, I was banging my head into the wall, coming to see that everyone was against me. And when the Nazis took over, things got a lot better you play by their rules you can do very well for yourself ask anyone around these parts Blaskowitz is a name of renown and respect everything you touch turns to shit and I do not need your stink on my name wanted murderer run off to the army as soon as you come of age broke your mother's heart. Where is she? She's gone. When? What happened? Well, what happened is we had a big goddamn war, and now we got a new government with new rules. They took her. She's gone. 
And what's that queer outfit you're wearing? What do you mean they took her? They rounded up all the Jews and the coloreds and the queers. This is a white man's world now. White man's got to keep it Christian. You sold her out. So what? Wife made a living bemoaning me and raised a boy into a murderer. Well, I always saw you for what you are. Ten pounds of shit in a five-pound bag. On your knees. Daddy, I'm your son. Down on your fucking knees. Was a time I was scared of you. Was a time I'd have pissed myself, had a gun pointed at my head. You know what I feel right now? Not a goddamn thing. To love and to cherish me till death do us part? <laughs> Would you like to kiss the bride now? But not before the wedding. Shake my love. It was. him schnell motherfucker oh, come on. how's he supposed to talk to me when he's, when he's got that, that, that gag thing covering his mouth not my problem it's Cezanne oh Christ will you just give us some privacy please cool. 
Oh, you look like ass, man. Fuck. Looks like you're at death's door. Seriously, this is not a good look for you. Anyway, listen, uh, your trial's coming up in a couple of weeks, and after that, they're gonna execute you, and that whole charade's gonna be televised to every living room on the planet. So instead of that bullshit going down, we're gonna break you the fuck out of here right now. It's kind of a risky plan, but the security they have around you is out of this world, so it's kind of the only play we got, <laughs> all right? I mean, the hoops I had to jump through to get to you, and I'm your fucking lawyer! That pissed me off. But anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like you attacked me, and when the guard pig comes in looking for your ass, I'm gonna sneak up behind him, and I'm gonna shove this little number right into the base of his skull. I'm gonna grab his keys and his gun, and I'm gonna roll you right on out to the elevator. <laughs> Popping Nazis wherever they show up, straight down the garage, where boom, body and Anya and everyone else has the getaway car. Okay, you ready? Let's get this freak show on the road. <laughs> That hurts so bad. You don't even know. Let's get this fucking gag thing off you. All right. Once we hit the street, it's all car chases and flying bullets. They got tanks outside, man. We got some tricks up our sleeve, though. If we make it that far, we make it. The hard part is getting down to the garage. Hey! Help! Help! Open the door! He fucking attacked me, man! He broke my nose, and then he got out through that door right there! Fucking Terror Billy! He's on the loose! Stay back. And, and, he, and he had help. Uh, they, they came in right through that door, and they broke him out. It was space aliens, man! <laughs> Sollten zum Film gehen, bei Helene vorsprechen. Guter Schuss, General. Der zuckt noch. <lacht> Idiot. He was dead as soon as he walked into the building. Tapfer, kleiner Liebling, ich bin dein und Du bist mein Liebling, so lieblich und open your mouth. Open. Open. That's it. Huh? How does it taste? Shh. How does it taste? The gunpowder of the bullet that killed your friend. How does it feel? Do you love the taste? Oh! <laughs> you hear that? It's my attack force. Mm. Moving in on your friends in the garage. You're so quiet. I'm gonna go down there now and join in on the fun. Anya, my family. Weeks pass, or more. I feel myself slipping away. Got me praying for the end. For theft and destruction of public and private property. Aiding the enemy, torture, terrorism, including nuclear, both domestic and abroad, and high treason. For gruesome murders that number in the thousands, you have been found guilty, Mr. William Joseph Blaskowitz. It is rare, even for a man of my job description, to come face to face with true evil. And it pains me that the maximum sentence that I can bestow upon you is something as trivial as. Death! Death, Mr. Blaskowitz! Nothing but swift, sheer death! Bailiff!
mom. Oh, my son. I thought I lost you, mom. I thought I'd never see you again. Oh, Billy. Life is full of unexpected things. Some make you cheerful. And some break your heart. I wasn't there when you needed me. I ran out on you. It hurt so much, Billy. It felt like my heart was being ripped out of my chest when you left. But all hardship is temporary. Do you know this? And most of it is inevitable. I had to stay behind so that you could leave. And now you're the one in trouble. Do not worry for me. My troubles are all for my son. I don't want to go back out there. But I can't do this anymore. You are strong, Billy. We are survivors, you and I. We keep fighting even when we do not know how. You cannot help but be my son. I'm having twins, Mama. They're not born yet. I want to see them. I wanted you to see them. I miss you. We will be together soon. You just have one more hardship to go. Balin! Warm quilt of daydreams. Stolen by cold winds of reality. Everyone in position. She's dropping it! Here at the Kinderlech, we have less than seven seconds. Okay. Ready? Steady, Max Bombate! Grab it! Oh. Anya, now! <laughs> Hurry! We have three seconds! We need to give his brain oxygenated blood, or it will die. 
Did I ever tell you that? Sit. Mm. Yes, sir. <laughs> Max is right. We should get out of here. The man ready for transport? Oh, God. Er ist tot. Scheiße. Das melde ich. Look. Look. He's awake. Hey, look at that jumping bastard. The only person on the planet hard enough to survive getting his head chopped off? It's the Blazkowicz. Can you hear me? Uh-huh. Okay, so listen to this. <clears throat> Some time ago, Caroline obtained this latest generation biologically engineered super soldier body from a Nazi scientific lab. Very, very impressive specimen. Angela, please show this to him. Look, William. Seth is going to attach this to build the connection between your head and your new body. Angela! Okay. Kindle, please, I'm in love with her, please come and help me here. Now, these are very rare Nazi combat equipment from super soldiers. Our fight is found in the field. None of them is working, but I have enough material to fix one contraption. You should decide which one you want. You can choose. Blink once for this one, blink twice for the one in the middle, blink three times for that over there. Okay, Ingela, let's get to work. I will sedate you now. See you soon. I'm not asleep. I'm God, and you got and you got and you got and you. How are you feeling, Mr. Blaskovich? Can you move your body? Yes, you can. Show us. Show us. I feel powerful. Do you remember your name? Do, do you remember your doings in the last two years? Aside from killing Nazis. <laughs> if you die one more time, William. I will murder you. Come, I'll give you some clothes. Send them to me when you're done. Mm -hmm. uh, no, have you seen Katzele? Where's to get you? Where's to get you? Shim shim. I keep the shim shim. Mr. Blaskovich. How I look? Like a new man, Yingle. A new man. Oh, I look at you. I'm so happy you're back. Now, this, same thing Shoshana has. There's no, 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 no. This connects your head to your body. Very, very important not to fiddle with this. Now, you might feel some weird tingling sensation, not to worry, it's normal. But let me know if anything else happens. For example, your head trying to reject your new body, something like this. Max! 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 I feel the same way, Max. Excellent. Excellent. I just wanted to get some rest before we arrive at New Orleans. Mm, just such a long ride. Need a few minutes. Can you put your arms around me, William? I met him on you. I seen him and I wasn't afraid no more. Oh, William. And your mother? What happened in the garage? The garage? 
first time you tried to rescue me, Frau Angle's men attacked you in the garage. I heard the gunshots. Oh, that was nothing. We had some tricks up our sleeve. <laughs> That's exactly what Super Spare said. Answer my question. Which one? Is this real? Or am I in heaven? You are one tough motherfucker, you know that? What's all this? All this special shit from Roswell. He brought everything back from Mission Control and dumped it here. <laughs> Never had time to unpack. He was a good man. I saw it go down. There was nothing I could do. What did he say? When? What were his last words? I need to know. He said, it was space aliens, man. <laughs> Motherfucker. He said, oh, Ingo, how is everything functioning? Hi, Grace. This one of yours? What's this? What, where did you get this? Especially had it back in Roswell. Said he found it at the crash site in 47. It looks like no, it can't be a picture, but it, oh. Gotenya, sir. Gotenya, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Grace. It's happening, Grace. It's a full on assault. Have them run the engines as hot as they can. Full fucking throttle, sister. Mm, yes, ma'am. I'll tell. We're on a course for the New Orleans ghetto. Come on in, Blast. Let's have a seat. Now, that ghetto was home to one of the last remaining resistance groups in America, led by a man named Horton. Now, after the war, the Nazis put up all these walls around the city. And then, they gathered up all the undesirables, and they dumped them there, so that Horton and his comrades and all these people are just stuck there, languishing in the worst conditions imaginable. And then, after the event of late, the Nazis, they just dialed up the pressure Death squads storming the cities, killing everyone in sight. God damn it, they're gonna purge that whole city till there's no one left. We gotta do something. Right on. So now this new body of yours, is it ready for some Nazi killing? More ready than ever. Feel unstoppable. Shh. Like fucking freight train. You are a fucking freight train. Now before we arrive in New Orleans, we need to make a quick detour into Manhattan. So you'll want to read the mission brief, activate the war map out there, and pull up the info screen for the Manhattan district. Got it. Oh, and Blaskowitz, one good thing did come out of all of this mess. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> Your execution is all over the news. <laughs> Nazis think you're dead, baby. They ain't never gonna see you coming. That's my cue. 
Are you Nazis born in a barn? They're letting the radiation in. I see you. Approaching now. Make a good team, you and I. Oh, shit. Check it out. Got some smoking fresh Nazi battle robots for you. Big opportunity for some very important scientific research and so forth. Hey! Who's? Oh! Shoshana, look who's here, Mr. Shimshin Blaskovich. What have you done to me, Yingala? What have you done? I've been so absorbed with this artifact you brought into my attention. Absorbed and angry. You see, the Das Yichet engineers that made it called it the God Key, a term that only a complete and utter schmuck would accept it at face value because, first, it's not a key. I mean, I, I don't see a key here. More important, its actual purpose... I don't know what its actual purpose is! Makes me very angry. <sighs> All right. Grace! Grace! This motherfucker don't wait to have you and break your idiot neck. I got you, the New Orleans dossier. I'm sorry. It's just that it took me hours to put her down. Okay, let's roll. In other news, the Minister of Public Security, General Engel, has resolved to clean up the streets of America from, quote, all criminal and terrorist elements. <laughs> Later tonight, we interview Lady Helene herself about the upcoming movie, the most expensive in cinematic history, chronicling the hunt and capture of Terra Billy. We will ask director Lady Helene the most pressing question of all. Who will play Terra Billy? Can any actor truly channel the pure evil of one of history's greatest mass murderers? The helm. Five minutes. My brothers and sisters. For the longest time, I've been hearing through the grapevine about this resistance leader named... Horton. I... I'm so sorry. I'm still trying to calibrate the fucker. Mm-hmm. Horton. Horton and his crew were holed up in the New Orleans ghetto. Now, this man has important connections to the remaining fragments of the resistance all over the U.S. So, Blazkowicz, I need you to go in there and recruit this man to our cause, you dig? However, 
this shit ain't gonna be easy. Nazis got this great fucking wall all around New Orleans. Heavily armed guard towers, and the coastline is riddled with mines. Impossible for the U-boat to navigate. But you know what? Fuck them anyway. Because we got something else. Sorry, did you need this boat? Yes, motherfucker. <clears throat> Anya, tell me what to shoot, Grace. You and Fergus will break into the East Perimeter Security Tower located there in Lake Bourne. Deactivate the mines obstructing the channel to Lake Pontchartrain. Then, we sail this boat into the city and bring all surviving souls on board. brothers and sisters. Preacher. Oh, listen, Lord, Lord, I pick these rags up off the streets. Name's Horton. William J. Blaskowitz. Blaskowitz. Terror belly hellfire, son. Ain't you supposed to be dead? I recovered. Well, terror belly don't mean to be rude, but what's your business around these parts? Apart from saving our sorry asses. I'm with the Chrysal Circle. And we're starting a revolution. Are you now? Now this here is the last remaining haven for the cancerous growth of independent free thinkers, spreading all over the South and yonder. Oh, we be the outcast, the poor. Well, everyone who ain't part of the American goddamn bourgeois. That man right there, getting yourself a drink, that's my old timer friend, Paris Jack. A Paris Jack is a brawler, a cutter, a true believing anarchist, and a hell of a clair on that player, ain't that right, Paris? Don't like to toot my own horn, except literally. Streets are quiet, Horton. Nobody... Wait. Yes, streets are quiet. Now that's the professor. She got them eyes, can see a speck of dirt in a cow's ass off a hundred yards. I tell you, them goddamn Nazi some bitches coming here, we gonna shoot their asses out, I tell you what. Going out in a blaze of glory, hallelujah! You got a lot of good people here. You should join us. We could always use more good people. How you reckon to start this revolution of yours, Terror Billy? Terror Billy? Holy shit, it's him. Didn't that Nazi bitch kill you? Seems our friend here kind of told St. Pete to go fuck himself. He's with the Crossout Circle, walking legend. I know who he is. Oh, damn it. Here they come. Paris, I'm feeling a little jittery. Do you mind taking the edge off? Let me see what I can do about that. You know, my ma always said, <laughs> Never trust a man can't handle his whiskey. So you sit right down, sit there, Billy, and drink up. Ugh. What in the world the fuck is this shit? Old Horton special. <laughs> oh, God damn. Now listen, Terry Billy, I respect your ambition. But there's nothing can be done no more. Uh, the world has sank into the crapper, and all we can do now is drink this whiskey and watch the Vortex suck it all down. Didn't expect your belly to be quite so yellow. We've been fighting for a revolution since long before them Nazis came here. We were the first to start build a civil rights movement to advocate equality for everyone. You know the concept of civil rights, Terror Belly? No, you don't. You're just a jarhead, ain't you? Buddy, I laid my life on the line for freedom, justice, and the American way while you and your bohemian friends were passing out Bolshevik propaganda and opposing the draft on every street corner. 
What good is your fucking equality? You can't muster the backbone to stick up for your people while the coyote's scratching at your front door. We stood up against the imperialist war machine in the United States of America and the greedy money men of Wall Street. It was itching to send the children of the proletariat off to die in foreign lands so that they could be filling their coffers. It worked their sons bleeding on the beaches. No, they dressed people like you for their dirty work while they was watching the dollars roll in. You're the pawn, the patsy of the takerous men in marble mansions. Well, I see through that shit and decided not to be a party to it. And yet here you are, guns in hand, shooting Nazis just like me. Difference is you come late to the party. Perhaps your kind had gotten their asses in gear. We'd have won the war. Don't spill that shit on the table, or it'll lead right through it. This'll get you drunk, Terror Belly, you upstanding lackey of the establishment, G. <clears throat> Listen, pal, I ain't got time for your horse shit. You gotta make the call. Give up and die, or step the fuck up. I ain't wanting to argue with you, Terror Belly. Too tired to fight. You tired? Man, fuck you! I got kids on the way! And I'll be damned if I'm gonna raise them in a world run by these Nazi assholes! So what's it gonna be, you hillbilly, degenerate moonshiner, Bolshevik cowards, goddamn traitors? Lord, Lord, ain't never seen a man remain coherent after more than one shot over holding special. I like you, Billy. Like your gumption. All right. Let's start this revolution. Hit it. Harris been working on this puppy for over a month now. Hot damn. How'd you tame it? Popped the hood, pulled some wires, that about it. He's a quick learner, Paris. Always figures out what's what. So, what's your plan? You're gonna ride it, cowboy. Yes, sir, you're gonna ride on out there, draw off the Nazi fire, while we make our way down to the harbor with all those who survived the purge. Gotcha. All hinges on that boat of yours showing up. It'll be there. Oh, easy now, easy. There you go, just mind her temper. Get up here. Nazis swarming in like flies on ship. Check, check. All set, Terror Billy. Now get! Let's see what this puppy can do. Anya, come in, Anya. Do you read? William, I read you. What's happening? You okay there, darling? I'm doing... Ah, fine. <laughs> I'm trying to regroup with Fergus. I've contacted Grace. The U-boat is on its way in, and we are on our way to Lakeview District. Well, listen, don't do anything reckless. Now you stay safe. I'll be fine. And you're out. Horton, what's your status? Rounding up the last of the people and fixing to leave. Now make your way to the Lakeview District. Bring everyone. We're getting a ride out of here. Well, Billy, that might be a fine idea in theory, but I reckon all them Nazis between here and yonder might slow us down dearly. Wager I can get their attention. Now, 
Got it. Looks like the Aus Mercer lost track of us. Clear skies on the scope. Friar Angle commands him now. Using it to hunt terrorists. But in the way back, the Aus Mercer would roam from city to city, crushing any resistance. Now, if we ignite a revolt, you can be sure the Aus Mercer would swoop in, put an end to it, break and say hell's bells. But we gonna start this revolution. We need to put an end to the Aus Mercer firstly. So then we mount a surprise attack. Conquer the Ausmercer and use it against the Nazis. Well, the Ausmercer is protected by an automated security system called Odin. Seen it when I was up there. Well, hijack the system, find the Odin codes, and disable the fucking thing. Yeah, but that kind of information is a top military secret. Only the Oberkommando is privy to it. Sounds like your basic Nazi military facility infill. I'll break into the Oberkommando and steal the information off their uh, computing machines. Not a problem. Except for the fact that the Uber Commando is now on fucking planet Venus. Venus? Ever since you obliterated the Uber Commando at Roswell with a nuclear bloody warhead, the Nazis have been trying to shove the shite back into the horse. So, they moved the Uber Commando to another fucking planet to keep it away from us. All of their top brass, all their top military secrets have been moved to a fully secured base on Venus. Venus. There is no way you are making it to Venus, sunshine. I don't care how mighty your arsenal or how much fucking manpower. There is not a hope in hell you can bypass all that security. Yeah? Not with that attitude. Except maybe there is. In two days, final auditions for the role of the infamous terrorist William Terribilly Glaskowitz take place on the enigmatic Aristat habitat on Venus. One of the hopeful actors is Jules Redfield, here getting a snack from his favorite milkshake bar in his hometown of Needles, California. What you thinking, Anya? William and I are going for milkshakes. His papers are all in his glove box. Yeah. What about him? Well, is he a Nazi? You a Nazi fella? <laughs> Can't even tell no more. How I look? Like a walrus. Don't forget your luggage. Remember, you are Jules Redfield, professional actor, traveling to Venus to audition for the part of William Joseph Blaskovich. Now, you are summoned by personal invitation, so security should be minimal. Break a leg. Mr. Redfield? Mr. You, Sir Redfield? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's me. I'm Helena, the director of this film. Apologies for the long journey, but my producer favors a safe location and has an affinity for dramatic settings. Uh, come. Oh, uh, my, my luggage. Someone will bring it for you. Welcome to the audition, Mr. Redfield. Now that you're all here, I ask you to prepare yourselves. You must be off book for this audition, so be sure to memorize your lines before the producer gets here. He has a volatile disposition, so be careful what you say and do in his presence. Mr. Redfield, I can't stress enough how important it is you learn these lines by heart. Your script is on the chair. I will be with you shortly. Can't blow my cover. Better keep a low profile. Leave the pretend acting for those so inclined. How am I supposed to remember this shit? I gotta write this down. Places, places, quickly! <coughs> Hide Hitler! <coughs> I 
Helene! Ja, kommen Sie. Haben Sie das gesehen? Fremde in meinem Büro. Würden Sie mir bitte verraten, wer in Gottes Namen das ist? Ja, ja, es sind Schauspieler, mein Führer. Schauspieler? Ja. Äh, diese Männer wollen für die Rolle von William Josef Blaskowitz vorsprechen. Es sind Schauspieler. Es tut mir leid, meine Nachricht hat sie wohl nicht erreicht. Was? Und besser konnten wir nicht finden. Keiner von denen sieht dem Kerl auch nur ähnlich. Ja, 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 das kriegen Gott wir. Noch mal. Das kriegen wir mit Schminke hin, mein, mein Führer. Oh ja, Schminke. Mhm. Gut. Das ist magisch. Ja. Magisch. Magisch. Schauspieler. Geschult in der Kunst der Verkleidung und der Täuschung. Ja. Ähnlich wie Spione. Vielleicht ist ja ein Spion unter Ihnen. Sie haben sicher alle mein Buch gelesen. Oh, yes, mein Führer. And my children have read it too. I loved it, Mr. Hitler. Super good. Mr. Hitler. Wenn Sie mich ansprechen, sagen Sie mein Führer. Verstanden? Haben Sie keinen Respekt vor Autorität? Ihre Worte gewähren Einblick in einen höchst verraterischen Geist. I am so sorry, mein Führer. Sind Sie denn ein Idiot? No, mein Führer. Sind Sie ein verkleideter Schurke, ein Jude? Ein verräterischer Jude? No, no, mein Führer. I'm... I'm from Arizona. Schafspelz, konspirierende, lügende, niederträchtige Juden. Ich erkenne sie schon von Weitem. Wenn Sie mein Buch gelesen haben, wissen Sie, dass ich die Wahrheit kenne. Und wer die Wahrheit auf seiner Seite hat, der gewinnt immer. So konnte ich die Welt von den Juden reinigen und so konnte ich die minderwertigen Kommunisten in die Knie zwingen. Oh, so ging das. Ich habe ihn vernichtet. William oh, Josef Platzkowitsch. Oh. Oh. Ah. Helene. Mein absolutes Meisterstück, das Jahrhundert-Epos und mein künstlerisches Erbe. Wer mein Drehbuch liest, der wird die zahllosen Stunden zu schätzen wissen, die ich aufgewendet habe, damit jede Szene, jeder Zeile, jeder Silbe fehlerfrei ist. Bravo, mein Führer, bravo! <lacht> Willen. Mutti, mir ist so kalt. Weg! Weg! Sie! Helene, zusammen mit Ihnen. A cold-blooded terrorist. That is what you are. What the hell did I write? And you are a Nazi whore. You monster! What are you going to do to me? Uh, I will rape and murder you. So many German innocent lives you have killed, but the German race will rise again! Shit. I will murder your dirty race, too. <coughs> Die Worte waren richtig, ja. 
Aber Sie haben anscheinend nicht die mindeste Ahnung von der Psyche eines Mannes wie William Josef Blatzkowitsch. Wie können Sie sein, was Sie nicht verstehen? Sie, spielen Sie die Rolle. Füllen Sie, füllen Sie, füllen Sie die Rolle. A cold-blooded terrorist. That is what you are. And you're a Nazi whore. Monster, what are you going to do to me? I will rape you, and I will murder you. So many German innocent lives you have killed. But the German race will rise again. And I will murder your dirty race, too. Wie besser! Sie könnten von ihm lernen! Ich gebe Ihnen, was Sie brauchen, um den Geist dieses Irren zu verstehen, dieses dreckigen Untermensch. Oh, ich fand ihn in- und auswendig. Und darum konnte ich ihn gefangen nehmen und ihn der Gerechtigkeit übergeben. Äh. Mein Gott, mein Gott, habe ich Hunger. William Josef Platzkowitsch, <lacht> aufgewachsen in Mesquite, Texas. Mischlingskind eines Verkäufers und einer polnischen Jüdin. Die Mutter wurde vom Vater ausgeliefert, starb in einem Vernichtungslager in Neumexiko. Selbst als Erwachsener waren seine geistigen Fähigkeiten noch die eines Kindes. Und tatsächlich, als wir nach seiner Exekution aufstehen, konnte man sehen, dass er Jude ist. Helene, machen Sie weiter. Ich bin müde. Aspirants, as you know, this role is very physical. William Josef Bloskowitz was not a man of intellect. He was a man of action. The scene takes place right before the scene you did earlier. Bloskowitz is about to plant the bombs that will massacre the German children in the orphanage. But first, he must eliminate the brave soldier standing guard outside the school in a brutal fight scene. Mr. Le Llewellyn Irving? Llewellyn Ewing. Yeah. Why don't you start? You will each improvise a fight sequence. And uh, once the guard is eliminated, uh, you finish the scene by reading the lines from the cue card. Exactly as written. Places und Action. Oh, 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 stop, stop. Oh, God, I, I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding. I, I, I need to take a break. Line, please. Yeah, I, I need a doctor. Line. Okay. Your bravery is no match for a Neanderthal like myself. Besides, I only know how to fight in a dirty manner. And now, to kill all the innocent children, Germany's future. Ha 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 ha, will it? Oh God, God! Look at you. That's so strange. Why? Mr. Redfield, please. The floor is yours. Mr. Redfield, would you step into the box? Und, action! Dann mach es mal richtig, du... Is that what you wanted? Is that what you had in mind? You Nazi assholes. Because that's all you're getting. Wunderbar. Wunderbar. Haben Sie das gesehen, Helene? Wie geboren für die Rolle. Er, oh, er wird mein Platz kommen. Oh Gott. Er ist mehr als perfekt. 
Let me help you unpack, Mr. Redfield. Was zur Hölle ist das? yourself, Adolf. I'm leaving here with your secret Odin codes. Then we steal the Ausmerzer, take out General Angle, and show the American people what revolution looks like. Here it is. My ticket down to the surface. emergency lights on. Where is everyone? Something is wrong. Be ready for anything. Surprise! Happy birthday, William. Here's to you, All-American. Let's make this year count, Blasco. Congratulations, Blasco. Alles Gute zum Geburtstag, Herr Blasco. Here's to you, All-American. Nice sauce. I didn't think I'd make it this long. <laughs> well, here's to Brother Blaskowitz, <laughs> toughest motherfucker I ever met. Terrible! That's some hot damn good banana cream pie Max right there. Max made! Big sauce! <laughs> <laughs> now, here's some wicked love. <laughs> Lordy, Lord, I was gonna tear a hole in poor old Orton's tummy. <laughs> Boys! Please! <laughs> so... How was Venus? Did you bring me back anything? Well, the uh, souvenir shop was closed, but brought you this. Holy shit, Blaskowitz. Well, I absolutely must tell you about the silverfish. It's definitely the truth. It is a very small. <laughs> Seagram! Yes, Paul Quicks! Listen, I'm gonna need your Nazi eyeballs on this one. I am not a Nazi! Whatever. Look, I'm trusting you to decrypt the Odin codes so we can disable the defense system and hijack the outsmarts. Yes, for Chris. But please stop calling me a Nazi. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I hurt your Nazi feelings? Suck it up, princess. You still here? We're <laughs> going. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? God damn it. Oh, shit. Now it's on. Comrades, 
brothers and sisters. Thank you very much. Tomorrow we are gonna shoot Nazis until we run out of bullets. But tonight, tonight is for Blast Quiz. Horton starts with corn, and on occasion we've done barley, but I think, well, I like rye, but he usually does corn. And then with is still drunk, and we're supposed to be in the air by now. Can he fly in this condition? Well, he sure can't fucking fly with one arm. Okay, Horton, Anya, get him some coffee or something to sober him up. And Blaskowitz, fly Fergus's fucking arm before this whole operation turns into a shit show? God damn. Hey. Fergus? Fergus. Fergus. Hey, wake Can up. Can you hear me? Hey. Fergus, it's Anya. Hey. Come on. Oh. Come on. Oh. Oh, I tell you, when a man's gone teetotally drunk and disorderly, there's only one cure. What's that? Old Horton's patented hangover blaster. She he doesn't swallow his own tongue. No. What's in it? Uh, let me see. A uh, tablespoon of ketchup, mm, orange juice, half a tin of anchovies. Two raw eggs, chili pepper, two teaspoons. Hey, Tara Billy. I might have some information for you. Hey, Paris Jack. So, I'm looking for Fergus's arm. You seen that thing? You know, I did see Fergus late last night. See the loss over there? Christ, man, don't look. I was meaning to give her this rose, and uh, I wanted to say something romantic here. Yeah, romantic, right? No, oh, on occasion. Right. <laughs> Nothing sleazy. Uh, she's a good lass, and mm -hmm. I wanted to know I'm an honorable man. So, how's this? Maria, ever since I saw you, I've been wanting to do this. And then, I hunted the rose, and I say, this rose is a symbol of my good intention. I hope you'll consider going out with me. If it's honest and from the heart, it's all that matters. Oh, the hell, I'm nervous. I don't want to fuck this up. Let me play something to set the mood. <laughs> <clears throat> Ever 
ever since I saw you. I've been wanting to do this. storm off toward the hangar. Mm-hmm. Don't think I've ever seen a man that angry. Thanks. <laughs> Do you train to fucking kill me? Well, there you go. Old Horton's patented hangover blaster always delivers. Boom. What are you lot loitering around for, huh? Haven't we got a mission briefing to attend? The party's over, let's go. Inconceivable. Incomprehensible. Sorry for uh, going off on you about my shirt the other day. You're a good lad. Makes us. My brothers and sisters. My brothers and sisters. Check this out. In less than six hours, Frau Engel is going to make a scheduled appearance on the Jimmy Carver Show, live from Hollywood, California. Now, while that bitch is getting her ass kissed on national television, we're going to infiltrate the Ausmercer, disable the Odin defense system, and hijack her ship. And then we find that bitch, and we take her out. What you got? Frau Grace, I decrypted the Odin codes Herr Bleskovich brought back from Venus. Turns out, it's just one simple word. Valhalla. Type in Valhalla in any of the Odin terminals, and you will have permission to shut down the automated defense systems. Well, all right. Now, fuck off, Nazi. Like I was saying, we are going to find that bitch, and we are going to take her Grace. out. What? Don't ever call me a Nazi again. I am not a Nazi. You do oh. not have the right to label me as something I am not, as someone less than yourself, as someone less than human. Say it! Say I'm not a Nazi! All oh, right. Okay, I get it. You're not a Nazi. And you... I'm in love with you. Don't you understand that you... Idiot! And it hurts. It hurts that you are so stupid you don't love me back. But I will dry the tears from my eyes. Get over it and move on. Because I don't need you to be happy. I would just be mentally using your body from time to time for my own personal pleasure. And there's nothing you can do about that, Sigrun. But I'm leaving, okay? No, wait. Don't be silly. <laughs> oh, you coming with us. <laughs> All right, Sig. You're the expert here. Lay it out for us. We have to approach fest in law. That will buy us time before we are detected by Odin's radar. Once we are directly below the Outsmerzer, we must ascend rapidly and vertically. This will give us the greatest chance of surviving Odin's opening salvo. If we are lucky, we make it back out before Odin has a missile lock on us. Hold on, William. 
Sigrun, we're in. There are three different Odin control centers on the Ausmerzer. Two of them controlling the automated defense system. The Hugen control center for the port defenses. The Munin control center for the starboard defenses. Finally, there's the Odin main control center for the ship itself. Understood. How do we get to them? There's a terminal concealed in the floor in the center of the room, which will open the door leading to the Hugen control center. Found it. The other parts of the ship are harder to access from your location. Bring up the ship schematics in the terminal and see if there's a way to reach them, Anya. William, find a Hugen control center and shut down the port defense system. I'll stay here and try to figure out our way around this ship. V. A. L. Me. We got your shit, bitch. Look at here, Frank. I'll still shoot your shit in the TV. This was your dress? I stopped it with a trash bag. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Wunderbar. Wunderbar. <laughs> we'll be right back with more from General Angle and Decapper after this. Can I stay here? I just can't be a part of what must be done. It is okay, Sig. You've earned your keep. Now for the rest of y'all. Y'all ready to start a revolution? Do this. <sighs> Camera three, truck left for your wide shot. Stop, Gunther. Stand by. What? Look! <sighs> Stay on the air. Go do what you have to do, darling. Jesus, it can't be him. God, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Terror believer is a terrible threat to everyone's safety. A demon disguised as a man. 
But I have proven that even a demon will fall before the righteous hammer of the Reich. Yes, yes, yes. to happen up close yes for you caroline all right wow powerful words general powerful words you all saw the pictures there was a lot of blood things got messy but through it all all i could think was how this man took my beloved daughter Siegfried from me. I'm sorry. Oh, General, General, I think I speak for all of America when I say that Siegfried must be so proud of you wherever she is tonight. Yeah. She was always a little on the heavy side, you know? What the hell? Your dad! He's fucking I crazy! Suffer, you from your shoulders! Oh. I killed you! <laughs> Lady, I'm the best you got. Then your best won't do. You're my wolf now. And these are our words. Stuff in your face. Full of bright words. Don't you sit in front of your Nazi television boxes? Just laughing. <laughs> laughing all the lies they've been feeding you. Laughing till you're choking. Well, it ends tonight. Oh, yeah, it ends tonight. My brothers and sisters of the United States of America, mm -hmm. tonight, we, the free people of the resistance, ask you to become one of us. These lying. These are lying. These are threatening, these are torturing, these are killing. They beat you in submission. They beat you. They, they made you, your very thoughts to cry. But if tonight you gather, speak freely from your heart, yes. I'll use one of us. Right on. And if tonight we see you on the streets with a knife or a brick, or just your clenched fist fighting the powers that be, then you are one of us. And if tonight you look down upon your hands and they soaked in the blood of our oppressors, then you, he's one of us. Yes. If tonight you hold your babies in your arms, I swear they'll grow up to be free people, then you are one of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you forget? They brought this war to our shores! Yes, yeah, sister. And then they beat us! They murdered us! They executed us! But guess what? Tonight, they also find out that they fucked with the wrong country. My brothers and sisters of the United States of America! Mm -hmm. When we stand together, ain't nothing and no one can take our country from us. Tonight, they burn. Tonight, you are one of us. Enough of these fucking Nazi workers. Take to the streets and show them that the free people of Scotland will never surrender! I'm 
Anya. You make me strong and weak at the same time. Will you marry me? William. <laughs>